Hello and welcome to Athena's Creations 2017. I'm Athena Turk, an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator since 2017. And today I am going to share with you how to make this fun, bright, beautiful balloon card. Again, using the Beautiful Balloons suite of products in the new Stampin' Up! annual catalog. Don't leave the inside blank. I've got some extra designer series paper that we're gonna use for the inside. It's time for a celebration. I'll just tell you, this could be used for a graduation or a birthday or a, for somebody at work who maybe got a pay raise or a family member who got uh, some celebration to celebrate. So it's not just for birthdays. This can be used for multiple occasions. And I'm going to show you how easy it is to make this card. And of course, we're going to use the new bling, new embellishments in color pearls. Absolutely adorable. And we're going to go ahead and fold the card base. And the card base is Misty Moonlight. It's a new returning in color that is part of our core collection. This is 11 by four and a fourth, scored at five and a half. Fold this over. And I'm gonna use my handy bone folder to burnish the score marks. And these are A2 card cards and they just open different way, but they're the same card. We're gonna go ahead and adhere the inside white, which is four by five and a fourth. And like I tell all of my customers, I like to measure twice, make sure it's centered, hold down the one side, lift up the flap, and apply my adhesive. Used to, before I discovered how to get this on as evenly as possible. I messed up so many times. So this to me is the best way to apply the adhesive. And then I'm just gonna put some adhesive on this strip of designer series paper. That is five and a fourth by one inch. I'm gonna start at the top be flush to the left side. Just gives it an extra little color. So that's going to be our front, so I will set that aside while we stamp and work on some of the other elements of the card. And when I'm all thumbs, I use my take your pick tool to help pick up and move my paper around. <laughs> that little gummy piece is so handy. Okay, this one we can actually go ahead and adhere down because it's the same measurement as what's gonna be on top. This is a beautiful, bold, bright colored designer series paper. And this just, this um, beautiful confetti that's part of this suite is a really nice complement to those bold colors. So again, I'm just gonna make sure that it is as close to centered as possible. Hold down one side, lift up the flap. Continue with my adhesive. And then we're gonna do some stamping and then we will build our, what I call build the front of the card. The reason for that is because I'm gonna try my best to 
not let my adhesive show because when you have a window sheet or an acetate, which this is, that tends to happen. So this little strip right here, let me just go ahead and give you the measurement real quickly. It is three by one inch, which is the perfect measurement for the greeting. I think it's time for a celebration. But before I do that, I just wanna make sure that my stamp is clean. I've been playing with this bundle of products for a while and I'm going to bring in a returning in color but it's now a core color Misty Moonlight love the photopolymer I can see exactly where I'm stamping I'm just going to find the perfect as perfect as possible center once you commit, don't move it or you will smear your image. So just apply even pressure for a few seconds. That allows enough time for the ink to soak in to the paper. And we're gonna just let that set aside and to dry. Next, we're gonna stamp our balloons. I just have some white cardstock. And I'm going to go ahead and do the little balloon, or the medium-sized balloon with bubble bath, another new, brand new core color. Tap, tap, tap. Again, apply enough pressure to let the ink soak in. And while that's drying, I'm gonna go ahead and clean my stamp because we're gonna do the next color with the same stamp. The great thing about the chamois is it's a miracle. I don't know the science behind it. I don't know how it works. I just know that it works every single time. I used to use baby wipes, but even baby wipes have little uh, fibers um, that can get smeared on your image. This is the best tool to clean your stamps with, whether it's red rubber or the photopolymer like this one. So we got another core color that's new, Azure Afternoon. And nice new juicy ink pad. Good. Let the ink soak in for a couple of seconds. It always looks wetter after I stamp it, but I find that once it dries, it's just fine. Of course, if you didn't like it, you wanted more color, you can always bring in the blend, blend pin, blender pin. That's this little blender pin here, and you could bring in some more color if you wanted it darker. Um, but I think that's gonna be just fine once it dries. And then for our big balloon, we're gonna bring in Parakeet Party. I don't have the lemon lime, although that would look really well. Um, I do believe this Parakeet Party will be just fine. And I'm basing the color um, coordination based on the designer series paper. I think I might have some ink on this one, so let me go ahead and clean it just to be safe. That would be a, a usual color. <laughs> There we go. All right, so we're going to get the ink parakeet party. Just press down firmly and evenly. We'll let that dry. Then I'm going to get our, the medium die cut and the large die cut, run it through the machine, and here we go. So now we're gonna do what I call build the front, okay? So the first thing I'm gonna do, when I also ran through the die, the gold foil, this little die cut piece right here. 
You just need a tiny little piece. And I'm also gonna use my glue dots for this one. because so I want this to be underneath. So I'm gonna flip this one over. Actually, this is easier. So I want some adhesive on the back, just like that. So that this will go right on the top of there just like that and that cute oh it's adorable so now i'm going to go ahead and add some adhesive to the back of the balloon it's going to go right over here toward the top and then I'm going to bring in, before I add, apply my adhesive, I just kind of want to make sure where my balloons are going to go. This one, the blue one, the azure, is going to have a dimensional. I'm going to probably put two dimensionals. So that will be the last thing. That's exactly where I'm going to put this balloon here. Go ahead and add my adhesive. Just like that. This one's dried by now, so I'm gonna put some adhesive on the back. I'm building it before I actually attach it, so just kind of get an idea what this is gonna look like. the little balloon, the blue balloon on top. And I will mention too that sometimes when you clean your stamps and then you go to um, stamp your image, sometimes it'll have a watercolor look to it if it hasn't dried before you put some ink to it. So some of my balloons have that look, I think. Okay, so now I know where I can apply my adhesive that will be covered. And that's how you do, you build this, this acetate sheet. So I can turn it over and I know exactly where I can put a bunch of adhesive without it showing through. Okay. This is gonna be flush from the top of the designer series paper all the way to the bottom. Now, if you wanted to put adhesive all the way throughout, I would recommend using the Tombow liquid glue and your silicone sheet so that, and a little sponge so that you can evenly distribute it all throughout. The, this is great adhesive. It's just a little sticky sometimes. Voila, there's our balloons. Now we're gonna bring in these beautiful embellishments. And I think I'm going to do that parakeet party right there. Sweet sorbet there. And then starry sky. Love these brand new pearls that are in the new catalog. Absolutely adorable. And that's how you put the cart together. Hopefully this inspires you to get your beautiful sets out and play with them. Happy stamping!